Broken for your hole, broken for your shot, broken for your hole, broken for your shot, broken for your hole, broken for your hole, Bashim Yon Shah, Bahashim, Rakakodash, the blindness of the apostles and elders of Great Millstone with your well, and salutations to the whole for the elect out there. You brothers that sincerely do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. This week's topic is going to be entitled um, Abba Bivens is Elijah, um, which was mentioned to come. Uh, when you read Malachi, the fourth chapter, and um, fifth verse, it tells us that um, Elijah will come back and bring the um, sons back to their fathers. Um, I'm going to say, um, calling the Lord again, this is if you can receive this thing, you know. Um, I'm not going to beat, beat this thing in nobody's head, but if you can see that the prophet of Abivans was um, Elijah and John the Baptist, well, that's the Mosai opening your eyes to see it. It's not uh, me breaking it down to you or anything like that. It's the Mosai opening your eyes to it. Inspiration for this show comes from um, seeing Apostle Ella Tahar and Apostle Rhyme Lob um, speaking on, you know, just the name Abba Bivens, how, you know, it's a right of a brother's name, Abba, man. It's not, you know, it's not a graven sin. As this guy out there in Detroit is trying to make it seem like uh, you're going off because a man named his father. That's his name. But... Um, you know, I'm just trying to do the point that <clears throat> Abba Vivens wasn't just a regular a regular guy or a regular nigga. As, you know, the world would have him, these scoffers would have it come across as he's just some regular nigga that, you know, is talking out his ass. This, this is not so. He was, in fact, um, Elijah and John the Baptist. When you, when you read, when you see, you know, you read the scriptures, you see certain things in the spirit. They do, like, you know, the same thing, which... What um, Abba Bivens did was revolutionary, man. He led the way. You know, he opened up um, the idea that the Negroes, Latinos, and the Native Americans are the Israelites. Was this knowledge? That knowledge is precious. It wasn't known to many, right? And then you know, you look at what Samuel did when Samuel stepped on the scene. You read First Samuel chapter three, verse one. It says the words of the Lord was precious in those days. Because uh, before, prior to Samuel, we had a period of um, judges for about 400 years. And then you look at John the Baptist, he does the same thing. The words that he was preaching, um, his gospels was precious. In other words, they're like, um, when that spirit walks the earth, they tend to lead the way for, you know, for, 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 for um, precious news. Same thing was done with um, Samuel, Elijah, John the Baptist, and Alba Vivens. They had the same lot. They, as it is written on the Mosai as uh, div uh, divided their portions by lot. All right. In other words, John, the, um, our Vivens, he didn't come back, you know, as a, a, a brother listening. You know, he came back with a major, um, a major role to play in this thing, and he did fulfill a major role. Okay. Now you're gonna have scoffers that's gonna come up and talk shit. Fine, so be it. There's no point in trying to gainsay them because it's up to the Mosai if you can receive who that man is in the spirit. All right, and he did uh, fulfill uh, Malachi. Uh, what was said about Elijah? Because it's around that time that the so-called white man, um, the, the minute he set his uh, nest amongst the stars, you're in the space program and such. Okay, because he didn't he didn't go to the moon. All right, the so-called white man didn't go to the moon, but he started to set um, different um, mechanical devices up there in space um, around the 60s, 70s, and that's when you know the spirit jumped on Abba Vivens to start preaching the precious uh, gospel, all right, this precious good news to the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that you are the chosen people of the Heavenly Father. This, this Those actions were fulfilling prophecy, you know? Those actions were fulfilling po prophecy, and, you know, the fact that, you know, you niggas don't even sit down and talk about your scoffers, you don't even take the time to think about that. Like, you wouldn't know your ass from your elbow, you wouldn't know that you were an Israelite if it wasn't for this man, Okay? All right, because even though you had um, you had certain um, Jake's practicing um, uh, what they call uh, called Judaism. All right, meaning they were following after the so-called Jews, but Abba Vivens he he brought it different. He said, Nah, man, them them Jews ain't the, um, them so-called crackers ain't the real Jews, man. All right, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're the true Jews, man. All right, and of course, over a period of time, the knowledge grew. More understanding came because the scriptures also says, you know, 
of going back to the, the lines, uh, divided by lines, Abu Bivis wasn't going to get everything. All right? He got the portion that was given to him. All right? Then certain certain part of the uh, portion was given to um, High Priest Arya, all right, King Masha, the elders of the, the apostle elders of old, and the apostle elders now. There's certain portions given to Apostle Elder Tahar, Apostle Elder Gabar, Apostle Elder uh, Raka, Apostle Elder Rhymelab, okay, and so forth. Different revelations being brought to you, brothers, okay, which you know you, you sit on it, and then the, the apostles bring it out. You say, okay, that was the spirit of the Most High, all right. So the Most High sprinkles out his knowledge towards different men, but guess what? We all one body at the end of the day, all right. It's all, it's all, it's, it's all moving forth the gospel, all right. But to deny that Abba, um, Abba Bivens, a great portion of the spirit wasn't given to him, and a great lot wasn't given to him, primarily the lot of Elijah. You know, in my opinion, is bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's clear as day to see, but I can't even really uh, say it like that because, it, as, as I said earlier in the show, is is as the Lord told His disciples, if you can receive it. Now, one thing you notice in that scripture too, and I'm pretty sure you brothers notice is. Um, John the Baptist didn't know who he was. Okay? They asked him, are you John? He said, no. Why is that? Because there's no remembrance of former things. Okay? We don't remember who we are in re re reincarnation, but um, seeing the works of certain brothers and certain things they put forth towards this knowledge, you can tell, okay, the Most High put a, a great portion of the Spirit upon that man. Okay? But you best believe, man, the elites of this society, they speak to demons, man. And the demons know who we are in the spirit, man. So, you know, the elites know. Uh, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about the high, at the, at the very high level, man. I'm not talking about the bullshit, uh, um, is the Bible real and that type of No, I'm, look, man, at the very top, they know this thing is real, man. All right? They got archaeological ar evidence. All right? They got their space stations. And more, more importantly, they have um, people that speak to spirits. All right, just like how you had that woman uh, uh, conjure up the spirit of soul. These particular higher level um, uh, um, witches and, and warlocks out there, they conjure up certain spirits, man. All right, and then, as, as it is written, a demon said, Paul, I know, how is I know. So these, 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 pick up, these, these particular demons know who certain men are in the spirit. In other words, they know who's going to take a purse and who won't. Who will take, who'll take a 501c3 charter and who you can't bargain with. They know. All right, because guess what? At the end of the day, the, you you deceivers out there, okay? You 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 are uh, you ones that gainsay the truth. You are ordained of the Most High to gather the two thirds. All right, because the men of the Lord are called shepherds. But guess what? Even the fucking wicked ass niggas are called shepherds. All right, a shepherd is ones that tends the sheep. So you guys are a lot of a lot of tending the sheep that the Most High doesn't want. All right, I'm talking about ITR. Uh, the Good Samaritan, um, Nathaniel, um, Yohanna. You guys are shepherds as well, all right? But you, your lot is to gather the sheep that the Heavenly Father refused and rejected. And you're doing a good job at it. So, we, you know, we don't lose our mind over this shit, man. All right? We're not, we're not trying to uh, lobby and, 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 you know, go on our hardest to try to convince somebody. If you have the elect, ultimately, you're going to make the right decisions and, 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 and follow the right path, you know? A great, a great example is also seeing who that the um, the apostle Elder Abba Bivens is a great man in the spirit, and in fact is Elijah. You know. So with that um, in mind, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, or Kakudash. The blinds of the apostles and the elders of great millstone which you well. And salutations to the whole for the elect out there. You brothers sincerely do this thing in truth and sincerity. Shalom, okay.